Paris, the city of love, famed for its architectural style and elegance. But little did you know that this great city is also the home of a dark and eerie citywide burial ground. Laced within the city's stunning form, underneath the numerous amounts of glamorous restaurants and bars, lies over 300 kilometers of interweaving catacombs that map the whole of the city. This network of tunnel and hollowed out shelters demonstrates the existence of a Paris that is a far cry from that of the tourist brochures. The existence of these catacombs reminds us of a much older version of the French capital city that we know. Within this structure, two major tunnels interlink in turn, creating a genuine maze beneath the city that stretched from Montparnasse to Port de Orleans and more. Established in 1810, these catacombs hold within them a dark secret. The catacombs have a history that begins during the times of the Romans in the form of a limestone quarry which provided construction material for the city's buildings. Directly preceding the gruesome Saints Innocent Cemetery Quarter collapse, in which the basement wall fell in on itself, in order to work quickly, in 1776, Nightly processions of covered wagons carried the remains from most of Paris's cemeteries into the mine shaft opened near the Rue du la Tombe et Sore. It took two years to transfer these graves to the catacombs. Ultimately, this cemented the catacombs' place in supernatural history. Within this citywide burial ground, the walls were decorated in a morbid fashion and lined with the bones of the dead. By 1859, the final transfer of bones during the renovation, organized by Georges Eugene Hausman, was complete, and from 1860, the catacombs were open to the public. But why were the catacombs designed in such a manner? Were they to serve as a warning? Certainly, their organization serves to cement the catacombs as a supernatural space. The design was from the vision of Louis Antoine Hericat de Thury, director of the Paris Mine Inspection Service from 1810. De Thury started these renovations in order that he could transform the catacombs into a visitable mausoleum, in turn ending the association of the catacombs as a disorganized bone repository. The skull and femurs were stacked into patterns that decorate the walls of the catacombs to this day. In order to complement the walls of bones, de Thury also incorporated the cemetery decorations from the former Tomb Essori property. The result being the creation of an environment where the dead and the living can meet. De Thury did not stop there. He created the room which was dedicated to the display of various minerals found under Paris, as well as another displaying the various skeletal deformities found during the catacombs' creation and renovation, eerie tablets and archways bearing inscriptions of warnings, descriptions, and other notes regarding the ossuary were included. Some of these inscriptions were also aimed with the visitor's safety and advised anyone coming to inspect this new home for the dead. Only one life has been claimed by the catacombs. In 1793, Philbert Aspert, a gatekeeper who caught wind of a rumor that there was a secret collection of liquor hidden within the catacombs underneath a covenant. After venturing in with only one candle, Philibert was discovered 11 years later with the liquor he had been lucky finding in his hands. As a ghostly guardian serving as an example of what not to follow. Today, the catacombs have become a highly anticipated and fascinating feature of the Parisian tourist industry. However, mystery and danger still persist within these hollowed walls. This year, two teenagers became lost for three days. After being rescued, the two were immediately rushed to the hospital and treated for hypothermia. 
a direct result of enduring the dank hallways for such an extended period of time. However, nobody knows how they found themselves in the catacombs and how they became lost. This is typical of the catacombs. However, many schoolchildren and explorers find unofficial ways to enter the catacombs to explore these halls of the deceased. The mere existence of the Parisian catacombs invites the illegal and life-threatening actions of a few fascinated and curious explorers. In short, as long as the catacombs exist, people will continue to find a way into these haunted halls. It seems the dead will never truly sleep, as the existence of these catacombs have opened a limited door into their realm that the living will never allow to close. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and share. We appreciate it.